In 2014, for the fourth year running, INRAP, the French National Institute of Preventive Archaeological Research, conducted an archaeological dig in Cambodia, near the famous temple of Angkor Wat. The dig was part of a large-scale preventive excavation of Siem Reap Angkor International Airport implemented by INRAP in partnership with APSARA, the Authority for the Protection and Management of Angkor and the Region of Siem Reap, and Vinci Airports. The project is founded by Cambodia Airport, a subsidiary of Vinci Airports, as part of works to extend Siem Reap Airport to accommodate 5 million passengers per year. A team of French and Cambodian archaeologists are working together to find out more about land use and lifestyles in and around religious complexes on the outskirts of Angkor. One of the aims of the 2014 dig was to complement the findings of a 2013 study of the Prize Isle Prey Temple site, partially dating from the 9th century. Le but du jeu à Prey, c'était d'arriver d'abord à avoir des éléments de datation sur le temple lui-même qui est très très mal connu. Euh, Au-delà de ça, le contextualiser en étudiant le village euh, encorien qui se développe tout autour. Et ce qui motive ce projet, c'est avant tout l'étude des, des habitats anciens autour de ces monuments, parce qu'on les, les connaît très mal. Il y a eu très peu de fouilles sur ce genre de choses. Puis ce qui est absolument passionnant, eh bien, ce sont les tertres qui sont en périphérie de ces temples et sur lesquels étaient installées bah, les maisons et sur lesquelles vivaient les gens. Et bah, c'est là qu'on trouve le plus d'informations effectivement sur, sur leur vie quotidienne, sur leurs habitudes, sur, sur plein de choses. The ancient Khmers used the earth from the reservoirs they dug to make small mounds that stood proud of the surrounding rice fields. On top of them were enclosed houses with fruit trees and vegetable gardens. All these mounds were inhabited. Small surveys carried out there have unearthed pottery shards dating back to the earliest periods of occupation in the 10th century. There are people rich on this terre. In the enseignement, there are quite a lot of pièces importations. The post holes in the ground were left by Angkorian houses built on stilts. They are the only remaining trace of the buildings, which were made from perishable materials. La maison ne se résume pas à la maison en tant que telle, c'est une maison court. C'est en fait un espace vivrier, c'est un espace économique qui permet de développer une économie vivrière familiale en parallèle à une économie basée sur la monoculture du riz. Et finalement, pour survivre au milieu de, de cet espace d'agriculture quasiment industrielle, il faut développer une économie de village sur terre. During a follow-up dig at the foot of the central tower of the Prasad Prey temple, the archaeologist made an unexpected discovery. This superb sandstone threshold decorated with carved lotus leaves would originally have been located at the entrance to the temple. The archaeologists think it was displaced when the site was reorganized in the post Enchorian period at some point after the 15th century. An exceptional find was unearthed in the masonry adjoining the north platform, which was in perfect condition. This was a foundation deposit, a treasure hidden under the statue of a divinity worshipped in the temple. Most of these deposits have been looted, so this was a rare find indeed. Hidden under the sandstone blocks were finely engraved gold and silver leaves, the only ones found at Angkor. These fine pieces of metal work are now very fragile and will require lengthy restoration work. The other major dig conducted in 2014 took place on the site of a former temple listed at CP 707, of which nothing is now left standing, located on the edge of the runway. The archaeologists could only access the site when the airport was closed, though they had to work by night. In 1966, Around 40 bronze statues representing Khmer divinities came to light during works to extend the runway. The aim of the nocturnal excavation was to find evidence connected with this outstanding find, which is now in the National Museum of Cambodia in Phnom Penh. It's on the shoulder here and on the right hand side that there are the impacts of the coup when the piece was discovered accidentally by the workers of the airport. Donc en fait, elle devait être dans la partie supérieure du dépôt, comme le Ganesha qui a un coup sur la trompe. 
Et en fait, ce sont ces premières pièces qui ont alerté sur la, la, la présence d'une masse de métal dans ce comblement. Traces of occupation confirmed that the archaeologists were looking in the right place. But instead of uncovering the remains of a temple, they unearthed unexpected quantities of pottery. Bah, un fragment de réchaud. Il hein. faut imaginer trois pointes opposées. Il y a le, le feu, enfin la, la braise au milieu, puis on pose les, les, gamelles, les gamelles dessus. Ah, ça sent. The stripping of layers revealed post holes that must have held the supports of wooden buildings. Ces trous de poteaux sont associés à des quantités très abondantes de matériel archéologique, donc de céramique en l'occurrence, caractéristique d'un site de consommation, d'un habitat. Et donc ça, ça nous renvoie à la fouille qu'on a faite en 2011 et 2012 à, à 900 mètres d'ici, à Tualtalo, où on avait exactement la même configuration, c'est-à-dire un, un temple occupé du milieu du 10e jusqu'à probablement au début du 11e, et qui ensuite est démonté et complètement réoccupé pour installer un habitat. Where the runways today, village communities probably made their homes on the sites of disused former temples during the 13th and 14th centuries. This discovery raises numerous questions about the links between the religious foundations and these communities. It will be further investigated via an additional excavation. <laughs>